Hey there, what is up? We're going to be jumping into Portal Stories Mail here, available for free on Steam. It is a mod for Portal 2, but it does not require that you own Portal 2. And it is a, from what I understand, a fan-made game. Oh, here we go. Let's see, we have five chapters. We're going to start with chapter one, and we're just going to jump right in here. Is Mel the name of a character? Is it an acronym for something more sinister? Chapter 1, 1952. We start out on a train. Is this thing on? Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Much the way Half Life starts. Greetings, astronaut, war hero, or Olympian. My name's Cave Johnson. Oh, and Cave. Boy, do I have something to show you? You're here because you're the best the world has to offer. I don't say that lightly, mind you. So take that as one of the biggest compliments you'll ever get in your life. Even this if you don't know who I am. It's a decent Cave Johnson impression. I started a shower curtain company, making asbestos-laden shower curtains for the military. But I kept dreaming bigger and better. And you know what? That dreaming became doing. Lots of doing. Mm -hmm. Which brought you here. You're riding into the little Michigan town of... Uh, wait. Where are we again? Uh, okay, so... Hmm. Aperture Science Innovators. We're still getting some of this stuff together, but there's a lot of science we can do in the meantime. You've been selected from a large group of candidates for a special test in our temporary testing areas. When the train arrives at the station, head into the town and into the Aperture building. Don't worry, you'll know where it is. You'll get some more pre-recorded messages once you're there. Now, get ready to do some science. For now, though, we're going to put on some nice music for you. No. Oh. Enjoy the ride. So Aperture is in Michigan. Did they ever reveal that in the other games? I don't think they ever... No, they never addressed where Aperture Science Labs is. Look at those guys. Those are the all assholes right, right there. Are arriving at Aperture Central Station. Station? Chris, go How do you spell station? Okay, think about that for a second. <laughs> Oh. Get out of my office. <laughs> get out. That's what you get, asshole, for not being able to spell station. Oh, I can't record this. Amphetamines. Keep you testing efficiently. Aperture Cola. The lightest model yet. Quantum tunneling device. Test one today. Oh. And here our journey begins. We step foot off the train. Now, Let's do this. Cosmic we have an like that in three days. Uh, sorry. Uh oh. Make that three minutes. Uh oh. Let's see. Uh, where do we get? Where do we get? Where do we go? Ah. All right, let's go upstairs. The guy at the uh, window didn't seem to have didn't want to have anything to do with us. Look at this repulsion gel. Superconductor test. Ah, so I guess we'll have access to the gels and stuff from Portal 2. Here at Aperture Science Innovators, we love to give back to the community. So, instead of just giving back, we made our own community. Entirely made out of Aperture Science malleable concrete on top of the salt mines. And that's exactly why you shouldn't touch the walls or stomp your feet either. <clears throat> Last thing we need is to touch up a dent in the wall because someone was too hands on. Oh, let's see. Where are we at? Where are we at? So we're in the little town here. Let's uh, probably through here. Welcome, test subjects. I told you it was easy to find. You found it faster than uh, any test subjects on record. <coughs> Caroline. Uh, that's not good. <coughs> Just head through the door and oh. right to the elevator. You all know where to go. If you play Portal 2, you know who that is. Know your allergens. Man. <laughs> Welcome. Please sign in with the receptionist before proceeding to the lounge. Okay, so we can't interact with that. Okay. Uh, alright. I guess down here. So, 
At first, I wanted to put in a long flight hmm. of stairs that spiraled down through the old salt mines down here. Give the test subjects a great view of the place. But no! The zoning boards on my bean counter said that's why they invented elevators. So, when someone in a wheelchair threatened to sue, my former boys chicken out of me and built this elevator to go to our temporary offices. I'm still working on those stairs, and those guys are working on getting new jobs. So get on that stupid elevator. Alright. Come on. Uh alright. Cool. And the elevator's just now starting. Hmm. Place your legs inside, inside the elevator. That's why we're taking on this new project. When the bean carriers told me not to buy a salt mine and all this science, the first thing they said was, No, there's too much space. You can't suspend something over nothing and pray that a test can happen in thin air. Well, thanks to some use of the old calculator between the ears and a generous helping of the your fired stem, I came up with a final solution to that. Jump flow. If you can't anchor something in thin air, why bother trying to make it in the air in the first place? I came up with this. You know, it seems like it would be take a hell of a lot of effort to get your legs outside this. Suspended testing sphere. Each sphere is suspended in the air, Whoa. anchored to the walls by concrete and steel lattice rebar. They seem like they float in the air, but in fact, they don't. Plus, we can keep building above them, onward and upward. This salt mine here can take at least ten of these bad boys per shaft. Nine shafts, ninety tests. We can test whatever we want to and beat that other company into the ground. Black Mason. Those guys can kiss my guys. They're, they're recorded. Anyway, the bean counters cried like babies when they saw the cost of these things. But this is pretty amazing. They threw them out the door. I pay the bills. I make the decisions around here. And I hire and fire as I please. <clears throat> now, the first of these spheres won't be ready for a few more months. So, you'll be participating in one of our smaller tests. The Aperture Science Innovator's Short-Term Relaxation Vault. This is amazing right here. It's incredible. So, uh, yeah, these you bit of bastards, and they think they cannot afford this. But they're not the ones paying the bills. This is a long ass elevator ride. Is this Mass Effect? <laughs> Here we go. Are we finally reaching? Are we finally Here's reaching the, the bottom? I'll tell you a bit more. This test should be real easy for you, though. Just get inside one of the Aperture Science Innovator's short-term relaxation vaults and lie in a bed. You'll feel yourself fall asleep quickly. Don't worry, though. Our science boys will get you out shortly. You'll only be out for a few minutes, uh, an hour at most, if something goes wrong. <clears throat> Don't worry. We've got everything under control. You'll be making science, and you won't have to do a thing. Who's the winner? You are. Festus curtains. <laughs> oh, amazing. Alright, here we go. We're finally reaching the bottom, I think. Here we oh, here we go. Well, we're almost here. We're almost here. I want to stick my legs out. I can't stick my legs out. And here we go. So, as I said on the last pre-recorded message, you'll be heading into an Aperture Science Innovator's short-term relaxation vault for a quick deep sleep. And then you're done. That's why we brought you here at night. You're most likely a walking zombie. What the fuck is this? But just remember, don't sleep too long. This isn't a bed and breakfast. And if you decide to stay tonight, I'm charging you rent for the next year. We'll have a bed ready for you. Just follow the testing area signs and go to bed. Don't mind the turrets. They're firing blanks. At least that's what Crazy Harry told me. <clears throat> and six science boys disappear. Six science boys disappear. Uh, test subject waiting area. Le toilette. Uh, here we go. Some business stuff. Nobody gives a shit. Oh, man. Nobody gives a double shit about your business. Uh, door number two, waiting area. Maybe the, I guess the waiting area to find the beds. Let's see. Don't worry, those toys won't kill you. The safety on their guns is on. What? Some lab boys shut them down. Oh. 
Oh. Ah! He speaks truth. They will not harm me. If you're hearing this message, hey! You're at the sleeping chamber. Carolyn, is the test ready? Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson. Carolyn! You're good to go. Step into the chamber and get into the bed. Carol Lab boys will take care of the rest. Eat to sleep. Ah, yes. It looks incredibly comfortable. If a little bit coffin like. Good night. What are these sounds? Uh, and we nod off to sleep. Gentle sleep. Nothing could go wrong. Ah, ah, ah. Oh no! It's the red ring of death! Does Microsoft own Aperture Science? <laughs>